Okay, so let's consider a block hanging on what I call a Newton's second law apparatus. Given that the coefficient of friction between the 97 gram block and the table is 0.1, a 15 gram mass is hung over a pulley attached to the 97 gram block. Determine the acceleration of the system. So, first things first, I guess we need to figure out what's causing this thing to accelerate in this applied force is mg which is equal to 0 0.01 let's see point zero one five kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is equal to 0.147 newtons. That's our applied force. And our friction force, which is pulling back this way, our applied force we figured out was 0.147 newtons. Our friction force we'd have to come up with from the fact that coefficient of friction is normal or friction divided by the normal force and the normal force would be derived from the fact that this mg is 97 grams converted to kilograms 0 0.097 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared which is equal to Point nine five newtons. So we take the normal force times mu, normal times mu, just doing simple algebra, multiplying both sides by the normal force, and then the normal force would cancel on this side. So normal force times mu would give us our friction force. So our normal force times mu would give us friction, which is equal to 0.95 newtons times mu, which is given as 0.10. And that gives us a friction force of 0 0.095 newtons. So, now we have to consider the net force horizontally because this is ultimately a horizontal event. It's equal to the force right minus force left. So if you look at this as a right left thing, the friction force we calculated was 0 0.095 newtons. The applied force was equal to 0.147 newtons. So we can take, this is really right minus left or left minus right, doesn't matter how you want to do the, assign this, but our net force is, since this is going to be bigger than this, it's going to be pulling to the left. So that'll leave us with a negative number, which is fine. That just implies that we're moving to the left. So right force is 0 0.095 minus left force of 0.147 and that's equal to 0.052, a negative number. So our net force is negative 0.052, which means it's pulling to the left, which is obvious. And remember Newton's second law, F equals M times A. Now here's where the tricky part comes in. A lot of you would say take the M from the 97 grams, but that's not true because all of this is accelerating together. This is accelerating this way just as much as this is accelerating this way. So we have to consider the 97 grams plus the 15 grams as our mass. So our mass is equal to 112 grams or 0 0.112 kilograms times A. And our net force we figured out was 0 0.052 
newtons. And the negative sign means it's going to the left. So solving for A, we take 0 0.052 divided by 0 0.12. So our net acceleration is going to be a negative 0 0.052 newtons divided by 0 0.112 kilograms. And that will give us a value of negative 0.46 meters per second squared. And the negative sign, very careful, just means that it's pointing to the left. So it's accelerating at 46 centimeters per second squared to the left.